So this is the church that would have served the community that grew up around the court then? Well, yes, not this actual building. Um, the first church here would probably have been a little timber-framed wattle and daub structure. Then, when the Normans came to South Wales, the Normans who built your lot mm. up on top of Tumbarlam, they gave a lot of these local churches to the great abbeys, either in France or in England. This one they gave to the abbey at Glastonbury. Oh. And then it was the Normans who rebuilt the church in stone. It's sort of statement architecture. Mm. We are here. We're here to stay. Cracking. Yeah. So some old bits mm. in, in the structure. I think probably bits of 12th century mm. walling. What about the tower? That looks to be later. Yeah, I think the tower gets put on in the 15th century when you get that fashion for ringing church bells. I mean, the thing about church bells, you know, they rang the bells for services, but they also rang the bells when people died and they rang bells for the funeral, and it was supposed to remind you to pray for people's souls. So people were very, very willing to give money for a church tower or for bells in the church tower because that's how they would get lots of people to pray for their souls. Now, this is slightly peculiar. I mean, yeah. it, it, it looks like a, a, a hard, <laughs> an odd flight of steps, but there's, yes. there's a bit more to it, isn't it? Very there? conveniently positioned yes. for weary walkers. Yes, but, yeah, indeed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what we've actually got here is all that's left of the medieval churchyard cross, mm. because that great lump of stone there and the little bit of a shaft on top there would originally have been about six foot of shaft mm. and on the top of it a, a carved head with the crucifix and maybe a couple of saints mm. so it would it, it would have been quite impressive i mean it really would have dominated the local landscape yeah, indeed it, it, as you say it would have been yeah. a dominant landscape yeah. feature but yeah. uh, it does come to a crunching halt, doesn't well, it? Well, yes, all that came to an end at the Reformation and most of the churchyard crosses were taken down in the 16th century. Newports ended up in the river mm. and they found it when they were building George Street Bridge in the early 20th century and now it's in the museum. Yeah. So, you know, if you, go to, if you go to Newport Museum, you can see what one of these would have looked like. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what about the Cistercians? How, how, how do they fit into all of this. Well, let's, let's go and look at the surrounding right. landscape. All the land over that side of the road belonged to the Cistercians. Right. But this wasn't necessarily a good thing for the people of Hemphus. Because the Cistercians weren't always Mr. Nice Guy. They weren't always good neighbours. They had this desire to farm the land themselves. And they were quite capable of kicking the local tenants out in order to be able to do that. I mean, we even know of some places where they actually destroyed churches in order to keep the world away from their doors. Not quite it's the image, not quite that, the image you that they want to portray, no. is it? No. <laughs> but, you know, they were doing what seemed right to them at the time. So, in fact, the fact that we've still got this church here is probably down to the fact that it belonged to a great Benedictine abbey yeah. where they felt rather differently about these things and they were happier about living alongside the local population. So this side of the road, Benedictines, villages, yeah. parish church, that side of the road, Cistercians, Grange Farms. Interesting. Yeah. The liminal yeah. zone. Yes. But if we walk across the stile, we can get over to Pentra Bach right. and find out what happens at the dissolution of the monasteries. Excellent. Which is another part of the story. Great. Let's go. Right, so, so we're, we're going over the stile now, are we? Where, where, where are we off to? Well, if we go over the stile and across the fields, we get to Pentra Bach and yeah. we find out what happens at the dissolution of the monasteries, Excellent. which is the next bit of our story. Great, well let's have a okay. go.